Greetings everyone and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. Today we are going to be unleashing the Vikings. I know it sounds like a terrible idea, but I think it's going to work out well for us. Now I've had to delay this video by a couple of days for two reasons. It turns out Vikings really like ink. Like 8,000 ink. And that takes a while to accumulate. I do have it now, but that is going to drain me kind of out of ink. So I'm going to have to build up more in the future. The other reason has to do with the current event, the Mali Empire event. I was kind of hoping to get a good daily special so we could spend some of that enormous amount of uh, currency I have up there. Yeah, unfortunately, I keep getting skins and I don't like the skins. I'm waiting for gears. Of course I am, because that's that's the wonders right there. I mean, if it comes down to the end, I'll spend it. But I am hoping to get something good. If gear shows up in the meantime and I decide to spend a lot, what I'll do is I'll just kind of video it and clip it into the next video. Probably the last one of this event. Now, we did have one thing show up that I said was going to, and that was tokens for the Madraza. But like I stated in the last video, I don't really like the Madraza very much, so I'm just going to hold out for gears. And we're going to keep adding to that total. As a matter of fact, there are some uh, tasks we might be able to do up there. So that's something we can do. But first, we have to focus on the Vikings. There's going to be two battles that we're going to do. I am going to do a refill. And then, of course, we're going to do some unlocking. I might be able to do more than one research item for them as well. But first things first, we have battles to do. So why don't we just jump right to the battlefield? All right, so this is the area we're supposed to do our battles in. I've done one of them. I just want to get a feel for how hard they were. Not really. But then again, it was the typical four infantry against my two infantry and my ranged, and it really wasn't a big deal. I think this is the two-wave one. All right, why don't we just put that one off? I don't foresee these being very difficult. All right, why don't we just start with this? Oh, you actually have range this time. Okay, that should be interesting. Let's see how much space I have to work with. Uh, not very much, actually. Okay, this is going to be interesting. All right, you can see that these guys are upgraded now, so they look like knights. All right, and yeah, this is going to be a little iffy, but I feel with my uh, commanders, it shouldn't really be a problem. All right, let's go. Have some kitty cats. And have some of Leonardo's guys. Uh, the kitty cats ran right through. I don't like that. No, I didn't. Here, you know what? Have a bowl. As long as they're not shooting at my infantry. And they're done. I will have to... Well, it really depends. Depends on the next battle. But I really should have all of my infantry. The next one is a two-waver, after all. And we got some extra food. I got a lot of food. Yeah, this one, I'm just going to restore my um, infantry before trying the next one. Because the two wave ones usually are large. Uh, it looks like I did something over here. All right. And this is actually running out. It's only got one day left. So if anything pops up in here, I need to remember to grab it. The good thing about that is a new one will start building up. So I'm going to hold on to it in case I need like the big numbers for uh, food and money in the end. By the way, I am holding on to that money for a reason. Like I said, there are missions over there at the, uh, in the Mali event. All right, let's just uh, go over here very quickly. We've seen this before, but let me see. Where's the infantry? Infantry, here it is. I got 16 of these, no problem. All right, let's go back to the battlefield. As soon as we finish this and capture this region here, we will be able to access the Vikings. It is a requirement, after all. And, of course, along with some research and some gears, we're going to get our first plot in the Viking Kingdom. All right, let's just jump right in here. This doesn't look like it's going to be a lot of trouble. It depends on how much of a battlefield... Oh, you're not giving me a big battlefield here, are you? Okay, well, that's interesting. This has to do two battles. Well, oh, 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 no, 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 not that, not that. All right. Well, you know what? Like I said, I have my mercenary commanders, so let's just see how this goes. Okay, kitty cats, you know, do that. I really wish they wouldn't do that. Attack them from behind. That's what you're supposed to do. 
I put you behind them so that you would strike them from behind. All right, we got a big army left. Not a problem. All right, and then we'll throw that up, that up. We didn't really lose very much, did we? And this attack force is much smaller. And of course, we have our commanders, don't we? Um, they weren't mercenary commanders. These are real commanders. The mercenary ones are the one used, so I misspoke then. All right, and just... What are you doing? I'm putting you behind them because I want you to take them from behind. See, they know what's going on. But then again, the other infantry was wiped out, so... Yeah, we still got a lot of our army left here, too. I do believe that was some kind of a bug that they did when things were way too hard. Acquire. King Arthur, we are preparing a tournament to find a worthy successor for my throne. Um, that's me. I just beat you. I'm taking over. It's not going to work out good for you. All right, so we got some stuff here. All right, wow, we have lots of areas to scout now, don't we? All right, so here we go. We're out. Let's pop over here for a moment. And where is that? All right, King Arthur. Let's do a little bit of... Oh, Research Axemen. I've done that already. Acquire three regions. All right, back to battling. Now we have to research Rise of Vikings, which we can now do. So let's just pop into here. Right, this one right here. You can see 8,010 uh, ink. So that took a while. Everything else really wasn't that big of a deal, even though some of the numbers are big. This is going to unlock the city. It's going to get us a worker home and a beehive. Okay, let's do it. Viking Kingdom unlocked. Okay, and we get the builder home, the beehive. All right, let's see what we got here. And I think I can do this one too. I mean, I might as well. There's no reason not to. So let's just unlock that one. I already have one ready in case I need it for the event. A research one, I mean. Okay, what is it? a fishing pier? This is interesting. And a new building. Luxurious home. No, I'm not going to be doing that. And luxurious, no thank you. All right, we got a bunch of stuff. All right, so this one up here I can use, although I'm going to have to get some extra pepper here in case the event needs me to research something, you know, which does happen on occasion. All right, since it's all unlocked, and let me just uh, grab these trade items over here. Yeah, I'm doing barrels. I'm not doing too bad with them so far. Where are the barrels? See, I have nearly 5,000 barrels there so far. See, that's what I like to do. As soon as I get the first trade item, I just mass produce it because that's what I'm going to use to buy everything else. And I should probably see about doing that. And of course, I did not lose any of my ranged. All right, let's take a step over here. And we have the Viking Kingdom. Let's just jump right in. All right, and whoa, what is that? I guess that's their town hall. Okay, that's kind of interesting looking. Remove, what is this? Okay, I have to research... Glacial Mastery. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, what can I do? I have some spots open here, and I think I can probably get new ones. Right, I have one available. Well, you know what? I have space over here, so I guess we can start building. Let's see what they want us to do. All right, so this is done. Have two worker homes. All right, let's make some worker homes then. And I can make only two, so we'll do this right now. And then we'll make another one. I don't think that's going to take... Oh, is that actually going to take a long time? Yeah, that's going to take a half an hour each. So do I have to complete them? Yeah, I do. All right. Well, what else do we have? Let's see what else we can put down. A sailor home. Well, that's kind of expensive. But it is going to give me two workers, isn't it? Or what is this, actually? Those are sailors or something? Oh, you know what? I'm going to put them over here like this. Because it wasn't workers there. It was something else. Oh, that's right. Well, don't we have beehives? All right. I Oh, I need ink, don't I? Okay. Fishing pier. I need ink. What is it with the ink? 
I mean, I could go get some more ink, but I mean, what is it with the ink already? All right, let's see. Let's go to the uh, the trade area there. I think we're just going to do the beehive because I don't know about the other one. All right, let's just see what I can get. Uh, this one here, search ink. One, two, and three. Right. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, I'm going to sp I'm going to spend some things to fill it back in there. Uh, cartwheel, cartwheel. Yeah, once upon a time, I had more than forty thousand. It vanished very quickly. All right, so let's try that again. I mean, we could do the fishing pier. It's just that I wouldn't be able to do the beehive. Or would I? Yeah, I might be able to do that. All right, let's start with the beehive, though. Oh, I don't have the workers. Oh, I have no workers. All right, I'm not going to be able to do that then. And this is going to probably require one sailor. Oh, that's what it was. It was a sailor. Okay, because I was looking at the sailor home. So that's, a, that's like the other one there, like we've seen in the past. What do we have here? Okay, so those aren't things I'm going to be looking into. And we don't have access to the workshops. Okay, so we're building all the homes we can. We got worker homes and then the sailor's home, which is going to give us two sailors. And then once we have that going, I can make a beehive when I have three people. And then, of course, uh, we can make a fishing pier. Do we have water nearby? Oh, we have water right there. And I'm guessing that this is where the fishing pier is going to go. All right, so we're going to build building over here, too. All right. I like the way the cultures are different. They're just not duplicates of each other. Of course, I am interested in this glacier thing. I guess that's how we get over here. It could be that that's pretty far along, and maybe the next culture that we go to. All right, let's just uh, take a look at this for a moment. Yeah, I don't see it here. Yeah, I don't see it. Matter of fact, I wonder if it's in the next one. Yeah, Glacier Mastery. So that's going to unlock the second half of the map, but we're going to have to get all the way through the Feudal Age before that happens. All right, well, there's not much else we can do here because we're waiting for the workers, we're waiting for the sailors. And then, of course, I need a lot of ink. So I'm going to have to get busy on that. What is it with the Vikings and ink already? All right, well, that's it. We have access to the Vikings. So in the meantime, oh, it looks like I already got some of that back. Yeah, I got two of them back. Yeah, they sell pretty quickly. Wouldn't surprise me if the other one comes back quick, too. And you need to do that in order to get the trade, uh, the trade back. All right, let's take a step over here. All right, I need to collect a lot of food, so let's see how much food... Is that food or... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, it was food. All right, it was food. I need a lot of food, so we're going to have to see how this works out. All right, I got this one, but this doesn't really help me very much. Ooh, ooh, what was that? All right, I'm just going to grab that because, like I said, we got one day left, so there's no sense in not doing it. I would like to get to the gears, though. That would be nice. All right, so how far did we get? Uh, pretty far. Let's see what we can do, because I do have some food sitting down here. And I think a couple of these have food. That one does not. That one had some food. We're closer. Much closer. All right, let's see. How about this one? We got the food. That's the reason I leave those lying around. All right, collect food. Pay herbs. Do I have... I don't think I have a thousand herbs. No, I don't. And I can't buy any either because I just used all my trades. Oh, well, there's not a lot I can do about that then. So because there's certainly no chance I'm going to be doing a production in a luxurious form. Well, that's as far as I can go for now. And I am working on a uh, token over here as well. And now we're up to 47,360. But like I said, I ain't spending that on no uh, skin. I want the uh, gears. 
I want gears. All right, so I'm going to have to wait. Oh, there we go. Boom. Unless you do that, the timer doesn't begin. So I'm going to have to wait an hour before I have any trades back. So that's going to be it. And we'll go back here. So that's going to have to do for now. So we have unlocked the uh, Vikings, but we are waiting for construction to take place. Uh, the worker homes and, of course, the sailor home. And after that, I can build the pier and, of course, the beehive. What exactly are our trade items here anyway? So we have Viking Kingdom. We have mead, ceramic, treasure, and gold treasure. The other items are going to be for the next era. I'm guessing the honey from the beehive is going to be for the mead. But why, why do we have a pier? Piers are for fishing, right? So... That's not for the next era? I'm very confused. So we'll have to see how that works out. And I do have extra plots of land. Should I just... I can't do any because I don't have any workers. Because if I try to do this, it's going to say I need a worker and I don't need a worker. I need a worker. Anyway, that's going to be that. We do have that going now. And of course, we still have the Molly event going. That's going to be continuing for another 10 days and 11 hours at the time of uh, recording. And at very least... I will do a video on the last day of the event, and we'll see how far we can get our new building, which I don't even remember what it was anymore. Hold on a minute here, because, you know, it doesn't really give us the ability to see it here anymore. The only place I can see it is if I go here. Don't click on that. You know that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be Hercules. Watch. I'm going to click on this. This is going to be Hercules. You just watch. Okay, I'm wrong. And that worked out wonderfully. I got a Genghis Khan. I'm very happy with that. All right, where is the token? Right, the tower, right. I mean, this one, health for the ranged, meh, you know, like that. I don't know. It is small, though, and it does give off happiness. So we'll see how it works out. Probably hold on to it. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. We opened up the Vikings. We advanced a little bit in the Mali event. And like I said, I am waiting for a good daily special. And if the gear show up in the meantime, I'll record it and piece it into the last video. Otherwise, I'm just going to wait till the last day and hope there's something good then. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.